A hope mom to serve time behind bars linked to her baby's death. 19 year old Christina Loveland's baby suffocated while sleeping in bed with her. Now, while sharing a bed with a new baby is not a crime, officials say there is more to this case, sending her to prison. News 10's Amanda Jarrett was in the courtroom today. She joins us now live with details on this case. Amanda? Mark Patrice, the Department of Child Services told the teen mom sleeping with her seven week old baby was dangerous and possibly deadly. But they say she didn't listen, and when they tried to help again, she ran off with the baby. A former caseworker testified in court today saying that she tried to put Loveland, tell Loveland to put the newborn in a crib for safety reasons. Instead, he says she slept with the baby in a recliner in a bed. In another visit, officials went to Loveland's front door to remove the child from the home, but Loveland disappeared out the back door with the baby. A few days later, she showed up at a local hospital with her baby who wasn't breathing. Police say Loveland's baby suffocated while sleeping in bed with her. They say it wasn't co-sleeping that put her behind bars, but repeated warnings from child services about the dangers. Not only that, Loveland was also under the influence of illegal drugs at the time. Today, a Vigo County judge sentenced her to serve nine years in prison. She's now the first Vigo County mom to serve time in a co-sleeping death. That's a lot of time. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a sad thing. There's no winners here. You know, her family, you know, they've lost. She's, she's lost a son. I, I, you know, just everybody loses. Now, Loveland did make a tearful statement in court today. She told the judge everyone makes mistakes and she has to live with this for the rest of her life. The judge ordered Loveland to take parenting classes and abuse counseling while in prison. Back to you.